There was a lot of misconduct in Tennessee's public schools in 2016, and Williamson County was at the center of a lot of it. Number one, members of the Republican Party are not formally affiliated with violence, the Ku Klux Klan, or lynching minorities. But you might have a few doubts if you're a fifth grader at Nolansville Elementary, where teachers handed out multiple choice history questions, tying members of the GOP to all of these hateful activities. Number two, the Williamson County school system used thousands of dollars in taxpayer money to hire lobbyists to visit the state capitol on the superintendent's behalf. What were they lobbying for? Reportedly, they came to lobby for higher taxes and more government spending. Number three, Using Saul Alinsky tactics, groups such as Williamson Strong, the National Education Association, and other left-of-center groups are alleged to have targeted the Williamson County school system by pushing for higher taxes and railing against school vouchers. This strong schools movement also exists in Sumner County, where this group succeeded in getting property taxes jacked up an additional 23%. Number four, former Cleveland school superintendent Martin Ringstaff texted nude photos of himself and talked of having a sexual tryst in the school board parking lot. Number five, Humphreys County school superintendent Jimmy Long had to settle a civil suit for an undisclosed amount of money after he allegedly bragged about his sexual prowess and open marriage at work. The lawsuit also alleged long embezzled taxpayer money. Visit Tennessee Watchdog at TennesseeWatchdog.org or find us on Facebook and Twitter.